Welcome to today's quick tip, this one on JavaScript event delegation. Okay, so what is event delegation? Imagine that you have 50 anchor tags on the page and you want to attach a click event to them. That can be time consuming because uh, the engine has to go through the entire DOM and add a click event to every single one of those anchor tags. You can even imagine it further. What if you have 500 anchor tags? That can be really time consuming. Event delegation allows you to attach one event handler uh, or one listener to an ancestor element and then when that's clicked on you can find out what the target was or the element that was clicked on and if it is an anchor tag then you perform something that way you only attach one handler and uh, this also works for um, elements that are created with JavaScript so let's go ahead and take a quick example here I'm gonna create some list items uh, don't worry about this too much I'm just getting set up Okay, and now we are going to add a, um, a, a pretty much a button. So, okay, and now let's get going. Uh, we'll use jQuery here, uh, just because we only have a few minutes. And the first thing that we're going to do here is get that anchor tag and when it's clicked on. So get a with an ID of add item, and when it's clicked, we're going to run a function. And all we're going to do here is we're going to go to that unordered list and we're going to get the list item but the last one which is going to target this one at the very bottom right here and all that we want to do is clone it right so we're going to do clone dot append to and the ul so this is pretty much just going to add a new item and then i'm going to hit return false to disable the default action of an anchor tag which is to link to a page so let's come back to our main page and refresh it and now we have items uh, let me go back here whoops And we have one error, unterminated string literal, and forgot to close that out. Okay, come back and refresh the page. And now if I have add an item, you can see it adds one. Okay, good. So the next thing that we want to do is add some kind of event handler to all of the uh, anchor tags first. So we'll do A, um, then we'll do uh, get all anchor tags, but, sorry, that's my virtual computer. Uh, we're going to get all anchor tags but not add item and when you click on them we're going to run a function and all we're going to do there is alert clicked and let's see what happens so refresh the page and of course we should return false as well okay click on an item and we get clicked clicked but now let's add a couple new items and now if I click on the one at the bottom nothing happens and it's because we've bound an event handler to those anchor tags so we created new ones but we never actually added another event handler to the new ones so with event delegation we can just do it to the parent which is the UL and then it will work automatically so click function and what we're gonna do here is um, we'll say if um, e target. The target is an anchor tag, meaning the target, the item that was clicked on. And let me clean this up right here. We're just going to do alert clicked. And I'm almost out of time, so I need to be quick here. Click on an item, it adds that. Add a few new items. And if I click it, now it works. So this is event delegation. We added one event handler to the parent rather than each event individual anchor tag. And uh, if you have any questions, we'll talk more in the comments. I'm out of time. Bye.